In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear good people, I'm sure you are well. We are still on this journey, 31 days journey of prayer with our married women. Today we are on day 8 in our 31 days novena. And it is also 8th of June. Yesterday, we looked, we looked at the attitude that we need to have as we enter into this journey. And today, if you go to your document, you'll find the barriers. I will look at the barriers that can make it difficult for you to pray. I may talk about many others that may not be here, but don't mind. Uh, if I have many, because I have many barriers, I have just written just a few. But there could be so many barriers that can impede your prayer life. One of the barriers that you may need to overcome, and this is not only for you gracious women, this is for all Christians who intend to grow spiritually. But one barrier that you now, because you are the people who are praying our gracious married women, one of the barriers that you need to overcome is the neglect barrier. Neglect. Who is neglected? It is God who is neglected. This is talking about prayer, prayerlessness. Prayerlessness. Sometimes we neglect our spirituality. You know, we take care of so many things, but our soul is really taken care of. That is why you talk about neglect. Think about your life, the, uh, our gracious women. Think about your body. Think about the part of your body that you must visit every day, especially your face. You always make sure before you leave your house that your face is well protected. Some nice makeups. You even go to the extent of carrying some others in your, in your handbags. Some nice lotions. Well smelling lotions. And you have some even as you, <laughs> if you go to your bag, I am sure you are going to get some, some, um, some lotions, something nice, some powder for your face, uh, maybe some, uh, they're called what? They're called nail files, you know, uh, to make sure that your nails are well done uh, and a few other things. Uh, your outfit, how you look. Uh, I know some of you change your clothing sometimes even twice a day or even thrice a day. That means that uh, your body physically is never neglected. Never neglected. Uh, I minister to students uh, in various levels. And uh, one of the most interesting group I have is the school of boys. And boys tells me uh, when we are having a chat that, you know, Father, we don't have to, to wash every day. You know, you don't, we don't, you don't, you don't just have to bathe every day. <laughs> yeah. When I miss the girls, the girls tells me that you know sometimes when it is hot, you can one can even shower three times. Uh huh. The same same age group, but now the care of the body is different. <laughs> so I'm saying that for our women, you didn't really know how to take care of your body, but please ask yourself. Suppose your soul is visited as often as you visit your face. Can you imagine how good it would be? So this barrier of neglect is actually real. A woman will fail to go for mass, but she won't fail to go to salon. She has, um, she has a date with her salonist, and maybe the date or the timing coincides with the time for mass or for service. Where will she go? She is more likely to go to the salon because tomorrow she has an event and she could be one of the big bosses there, you know. Some of you attend um, body massage. Uh, you go for, to the spa uh, for, some, for some treatment. Uh, and uh, maybe it might coincide with the time that uh, your small Christian community is meeting. And then what do you, what do you, what do, you do? You say that I visit spa only once a month. So we can, you know. But again, maybe the Jumuya is also again once a month. So neglect is real. And neglect is not only with you women. Neglect is with everyone. In fact, neglect is also attributed 
to the rest of us who are your spiritual leaders. So this is a serious barrier that you may need to work and overcome. The second one is called the righteousness barrier. Uh, now this, I'll talk about it in two ways. One is from, I mean, lack of it. That is, um, if, if, if our sin is so, if our, if our life is so heavily laden with the sin, when we are so conflicted, it becomes difficult for us to do meaningful prayer journey. The righteousness barrier. If you read um, Matthew 5.48, we are called to be as holy as our Father is. Psalms 66 verse number 18. Um, if my thoughts had been sinful, he would have refused to hear me. Oh, so when our thoughts are sinful, God won't hear us. That is going to prayer, but we are so conflicted. Those of you uh, who do Kiswahiri, we talk about tumebebanisha sana ama tumejichaganya sana kujichaganya you know tumejipaka matope you know we are seriously conflicted for example as a gracious woman maybe you are praying for your husband to come along but at the same time in your struggles you have a secret affair mm -hmm. that one won't work or as you pray for him, your heart, your heart is bleeding with hate, uh, bloated with, uh, with the pride. It becomes impossible. Thank you. I'll pick it up from there tomorrow. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.